Hey, ah. So today I'm going to be reviewing another hook that I was happy to find as a singleton because I've ever seen, only ever seen them in Hackabot expensive sets before. And that is the Knitter's Pride Zing hook. This is a 5.5 millimeter hook. Um, this is an aluminum hook. On the back it says, Knitter's Pride Zing in a spectrum of colors so bright and lively that it takes away one's breath. Shiny silver tips for ease of crocheting with any color. Perfectly shaped hooks to crochet easily. Lustrous metallic shades. Each size in its own unique color. Perfectly smooth surface. And this is made in India. Let's open this up and see how it feels. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That has a bit of weight to it for an aluminum hook. If you think this aluminum hook is going to be something light, no, it's not. It's actually got a little bit of a heft to it. And this part of the hook, the indentation part, is not very deep. So I don't know how that's going to affect it. It does have a flat piece on both sides. Um, it has the raised in metal, 5.5 millimeters on this side. And on the other side, it says I-9. But that's going to probably rub right off because that's just painted or stamped, I should say. Um, that is not what I expected this to feel like. I expected it to be lighter given that it's aluminum. But, I mean, we'll see how it goes once I get it down on the table. Um, that's just my quick first impressions of this. I do like that each size is a different color. So if I do t end up loving this, it's easy to recognize what size you have once you get used to them. Um, these are difficult to find in a singleton though. And this was another one from my Lovecrafts haul. All right, we're gonna get this down on the table and see the specs and see how we're doing with that um, and work up a swatch. And I'll let you know my honest opinions. And if you're interested in more crochet hook reviews, I have a link to the playlist down below. And I will see you in a couple minutes. Bye-bye. The Zing crochet hook, the Knitter's Pride Zing is 10 grams. Sorry. 10 grams. The Knitter's Pride Zing is 5.9 inches, just shy of that six. Hello, hello, here we are down at the table. We have our Knitter's Pride Zing hook. And I have just grabbed a random, I believe this is impeccable, from a while ago, it was on clearance. Don't quote me on that, because I didn't have a ball band on it. Oh, wait. I might have a ball band down there. I don't know. So, my first impression. Here we go. Oh, yeah. The, um, the head is not that deep on here, and it's definitely got, like, a more blunt end can see that it's very smooth it's not getting caught on anything I like that it's a little bit longer in length personally I mean that's my personal opinion let me move you guys in a little closer better okay so like I I usually do I'm gonna now do a oops, row of singles Oh, Lord. The uh, hardest row to do, I find, is the one after the chain. Especially that first one when you turn the corner. Kind of a persnickety thing. Um, I like the indentation. It's hitting my hands in a good spot. It's long enough for my hand, but look at how long it is. Where are we going? Out the back of my hand. So if you have small hands, this hook may not be for you. Um, I have rather... Long hands, as my mother said, you should play piano. Because I have long fingers. Did she ever send me to piano lessons? No, so I'm not really sure why she always said that. Whatever. I was in the band, though. For many, many years. 
I think it'll be interesting when my kids get older what instruments they are going to choose because I definitely will be putting them in band. Definitely interesting. I don't even know. Super fun. <laughs> Did you ever play an instrument in band? Let me know down below. I started with clarinet and then I moved to contrabass clarinet. I also played in the handbell choir and did some chorus stuff. Go me. All right, so that was our row of single. Nice. No no hiccups, no hookups. No hookups. <laughs> uh, no, nothing getting caught is what I meant to say. And can I do the right stitch? That would be amazing. Now we're going to do a half double crochet. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Trying to stay in frame. In frame. mind the operator error which was just what I just did operator error and you guys use these zing hooks before let me know what you think down below I'm liking that the metal is getting like warm in my hand the weight of it is not bothering me it just is heavier than other aluminum hooks I've tried but I kind of like that It's going pretty smooth. I am kind of a fan of this. Hmm. Let's get to the end of this row and then I will do my double crochet. I was super excited to find this in a singleton, i.e. one crochet hook I had to buy because I've only previously ever seen it and I know I didn't go all the way over, let's just move on in huge sets. And I've seen them, where was I when I saw the huge sets? Oh, definitely at webs, I definitely saw that. I've seen them online in big sets. But I will link down below my Lovecraft's hook haul. That was a pretty epic hook haul that really did not cost me a lot because I waited until they were all 20% off. <laughs> and I got a lot of different brands and singletons that I've only seen in sets, so that made me super happy and some I've never even seen before. So as I'm working my way through these crochet hook reviews, I will ha link down below my crochet hook review playlist. And again, I will link my Lovecraft's haul. This is very smooth. I think if I was to I don't know. I mean, it's not the best hook I've tried so far, but it's definitely far from mediocre. The main prohibit, pro, bl prohibitive thing about it is the cost of how much a set costs. We're talking like hundreds. Um, so yeah, so that's my swatch. Here's my zing hook. I will turn it back around and let you know my final impressions. Woo -hoo. Hey, hey. So my final impressions on the Knitter's Pride zing hook. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Um, my main reason it's not getting a higher score is how shallow the crook here on the hook is. See, it's pretty shallow. Um, but I like the length. I like how it feels in my hand. I like that it's a little bit heavier than normal, um, normal aluminum hooks. So yeah, if you can find a singleton to try, I would suggest it. And I will also link down below where I got this at Lovecrafts. Uh, it's not an affiliate link, but if you just want to check out what they have. Okay. Have a creative day, everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can learn how to be affordably crafty too. Bye-bye.